Obviously, uh, a, a tough game for us uh, against a very, very good football team. Uh, you give them a lot of credit. Um, do a great job. I talk about it. They got they have very talented players. Play with, they play with great effort. Um, take advantage of uh, of opportunities and play really good team football. Um, and you give them a lot of credit. Um, you know, obviously looking looking at us right now. Um, we're not where we want to be. Uh, obviously, I'm. I'm not. I'm certainly not where we want to be uh, through the, the at this point of the season. Our players certainly are not where we want to be at this point of the season. Uh, and it's a mindset right now that 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 we gotta we gotta go change and we gotta we gotta fix. And football's a football's a great team sport, the ultimate team sport. And um, you know, as as the as the the head coach, the the mindset uh, of the team falls on me. Um, and where we're at, the attitude, the approach, and everything we take falls on me. And, and obviously, I know two thirds of the way through the season right now, uh, there's not. I'm certainly not pleased with where we are. Uh, I know our, our players are certainly not pleased with where we are. I know uh, the Gator Nation. I know is, is not pleased with where we are with the the standards and the expectations within this program. Uh, but in this final third of the season, that's on me to uh, to get this fixed. And the uh, the approach that I take and the mindset that we play with, um, uh, that's on me to get it fixed. And uh, you know, and I certainly plan on on doing that of of changing this uh, where we're at right now um, with us and um, in creating um, some some positive energy. Uh, for us and some confidence for us and the expectations to feed off of each other, um, then I'm going to work and I'm going to make sure I get that right. Uh, we'll start with Nick Deltor. A question for Nick from Nick. Hey, Coach. Um, on, along that lines, if, if fans are feeling like the, the trajectory of the program isn't going the right way, what would you say to them right now? Well, we're too, you know what, here, here, here's the deal. Um, as you start slipping, right, the rope's slipping right now. You know, you, you go in a little rope pull. And that's one thing. And, and, you know, I look at it throughout, you know, you look at it through multiple things. Uh, and it really pertains to everything. Uh, pertains to individual games. At times, I think we play really well. The rope slips and we kind of let a lot of it go. Uh, and against good teams, you can't do that. You got to immediately offense, defense, the entire team. Everybody's got to grasp on. You know, what I mean, you're, there's gonna be ebbs and flows in the course of each game. And the uh, as the rope slips through your hands, you can just let it either drop it. That ain't the answer. That's not gonna fix anything. Okay, you're gonna feel that burn, and you cannot squeeze that tight because of the burn, and that's not gonna fix anything. Or you just grab tight. You hold on, you dig your heels in, and you start pulling in the other direction. Um, you know, and so any negativity, any negativity, I'm sure, Nick, you could be, you can be positive, you can be negative, fans can be positive, they can be negative on, on how you want uh, with things. Uh, but a negative attitude or dropping the rope certainly doesn't fix anything. Grasping the rope does, and holding on tight does, and squeezing as it's burning does. And I will say something about me. I don't drop the rope. I'm not going to let you even rip it out of my hands. You could drag me around by my face if you want, but I am going to let it squeeze it and let it go. I'm not going to let any inch of that rope go, and I know our players won't either, okay? But I'm going to tell you that's what we have to do. And for the Gator Nation, okay, we got two, we got one-third of the season left. Okay? And, and obviously, I, I'll tell every fan, I, listen, I'm, this is not where I want to be right now, and I'm sure at 4-4 four and four, that's nobody where they want to be. But we still got one third of this season left, and we'll see. We'll see what we define ourselves by at the end of this season. Nick, do you have a follow-up question? Yeah, and, and then uh, obviously there before halftime, I think it was just ten nothing. You guys had all three timeouts, two minutes left. Um, were you, you're trying to be aggressive there and, and get points, knowing that you were going to have the ball back, and then things just kind of slipped away. Yeah, two did like some critical mistakes right there, you know. And uh, you know, anytime you make critical mistakes, football is a great team game. And we got to really feed off each other with that 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 part of it all. Um, you know, when the defense is playing great, offense got to respond. We got to score some points early. You know, defense kind of shutting them down early. We got to get some points on the board when our defense is playing great and play great team football. And when the offense makes critical errors, turn the ball over, the defense got to step up and just, I mean, can't give up an inch um, in those scenarios. 
and uh, you know that that's all of us working together and coming together and the, the whole team mindset the team attitude uh, that I know we can accomplish but I know guy at times we, we want to look around it and it can't be when something negative happens um, oh no it's got to be if something negative happens it's going to be I got your back I'm going to make this play and I'm going to make sure nothing I'm going to I'm going to be the one to stomp it out at this point um so that was you know and, and you can't you know I mean you can't make the errors that we made you know the three quick turnovers you can't do that against good football teams Thanks, uh, Thomas Goldcamp you're up next yeah, Dan, from a, uh, from a big picture standpoint, do you feel like your staff is holding the rope well enough in recruiting right now? Uh, in recruiting? I, you know, I don't know. We just finished the game. It's a game day today. So, um, yeah, we gotta, we got to continue to recruit harder. we got to continue to get better. Uh, we got to continue to get great players. Uh, I think our guys recruit hard. Um, you know, we got to find guys who get that fit the Gator standard to come be a part of this. And, uh, you know, and are excited to come play for the Gators and have that, you know, guys that have that great energy, that are, have that great desire to come play for the Gators. Thanks, Thomas. Uh, Zach Goodall, you're up next. Hey, Dan, um, any update on Anthony Richardson's injury? Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see. We'll get that evaluated. I don't, I don't, I don't have, I don't have, the, I'm not a doctor right now, and I, I just got a quick update from the trainers that he was not going to return, so. I'll get it with them uh, at a later date. Uh, Zach Huber, you're up next. Hey, just um, it seemed like Damian Pierce had a high hand. Just why didn't he get more carries throughout the game? Uh, we roll guys through different things that are happening. Obviously, there's different scenarios throughout the game. I thought he ran the ball pretty hard today. Um, you know, uh, because of our injuries, we played some two two tailback sets. We had to play multiple backs in the game, which kind of changed some things up because of some of the injuries. So. Uh, but I thought he ran the ball hard. Thanks. Next up is uh, Matt Baker. And to follow up on what Thomas was asking, how big do you think the talent gap is between these two programs right now? Uh, well, we were better last year, and they were better this year. I would. I mean, I, what do you think? Uh, that's. <laughs> do you want to go after that? No, I don't. You, you sure? If you, I mean, that's. I mean, you're gonna. You can. Do, do what you got to do right there. But I think last year we were able to win. This year we weren't. So, I don't know. That's where it is. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, Mike Bianchi, you're up. Dan, earlier in the season you were talking about uh, Anthony Richardson. Everybody was screaming for him to be the starter. You yeah. Say he's, doing, he's young. He's developing. He's doing, He still needs to learn some things, reads and, and such. Do we see tonight sort of the things that he needs to learn? Uh... Yeah, we got a lot of things he's still got to grow and develop on. I think he has a great work ethic. I think he's an extremely talented young man um, right there. I think he does put in the effort and he puts in the time in, uh, in learning uh, the offense, learning defenses, making reads and, and, uh, and going through that. And, uh, you know, obviously it's when you, tough scenario, tough situation going when you're playing a, 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 a the great defense like uh, – like Georgia has, you know, and, and you give them credit for having some, you know, really good defensive guys. And, um, you know, overall, he, he did some did some things really well. And he, you know, made a couple of a couple of of, of errors as well. So uh, but that's stuff that we'll coach him up on and get him better at. One follow up. How good is this Georgia defense compared to some other defenses you've seen? I, I don't compare people from anything I, I don't like I, I don't think that's fair to do to anybody uh, you know I can't compare them to uh, people because a lot of it I don't remember you know defense that I seen all the years ago and throughout different years I do will say this I think they're an excellent defense uh, I think they have depth they have some talent on the t field uh, and I think they play really hard and their coaches do a good job putting them in position to make plays and they play with confidence and when there's opportunities there to make plays they make them uh, thanks, Edgar. You're up next. Yeah, hey, Dan. Hey, Edgar. So, tapping into your memory, though, just maybe a bit on your side of things. Okay. Do you have a, some of your very good quarterbacks you've had through all these years? Did Do you recall one or two that maybe had a really rough performance like this early on? 
and and what message you gave to that guy um, to kind of get him through it? Um, I don't, I'd have to research that for you. Um, <laughs> don't worry about to it. To be honest with you, which unfortunately I'm, I'm not going to make it bad, but I'm, I'm going to spend my time on other things, not researching that. But um, I'm sure I have. Um, with young quarterbacks, have uh, you know? I don't care, young or old. The quarterback performance. Guys want to play. They want to perform. They want to improve. They want to get better. Um, don't don't think for a second that Anthony's not a competitor and wants to go out and uh, is going to continue to work to get better. And um, you know, and that's that's a lot on me of coaching him up, uh, helping him through, pointing out the things you know of of, of areas that he can improve on. Um, out there on the field because, uh, you know, I, I and I talked to him about this. I mean, the, the, the talent, he, the talent's there, and we just got to get him coached up on, on the, uh, the intangibles. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, standing from the sideline, man, how, how quickly did that game just slip away, do you feel? Yeah, I think a couple, couple critical errors uh, really hurt us there at the end. And, um, you know, avoidable situations, obviously. Not, and I don't want to downplay it. I mean, obviously, great plays made by their guys, you know. And if, and if you look at it, I think that's one of the things, and that the mindset, when you talk about the, the team mindset, um, they created turnover and scored right away off it. And um, we didn't, you know. It, it is that their, their offense fed off their defense, you know. And um, the, the – that 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 kind of team, that whole team coming together, that expectations from everybody, top to bottom, I think is huge. Um, and I think you know it's on me to make sure that we not that we don't have that, that we cultivate it, and it's cultivated, and it's it's put into place the exact right way. Um, you know, and I think that's a that's a huge huge part of it right there for us that we're as a team feeding off each other in every in every single play of the game yeah dan i'm, I'm sorry to take one more but yeah you're is fine. it fair or unfair to characterize this program is at a crossroads right now would that be fair i don't know about that i mean okay. in, in which in which way i think you know we're two-thirds of the way through this season you know so we're at the two-third part of this season. We have one-third of this season still to go play. Um, you know, I think we have some, some good young talent on this football team, uh, some guys that uh, can look and say, hey, here's things we do well, here are things we do poorly, here's how we got to continue to improve and get better. Uh, so, you know. I don't. I don't really see it as a, as a crossroads. I see it as we have one third of the season to get go play, and I gotta really make sure that we finish this season the right way. Thanks, Dan. Yep. Uh, Joshua Miller, you're up. Hey, Dan. You talk about mindset. I'm talking about like when they didn't respond, like the, the defeated mindset. And if so, do you think you have to bring guys back in to close out this last third of the season the right way? No, not a defeated mindset at all um i don't think that's the case in any way situation um i think it's a mindset of a, of of attention to detail a mindset for all of us that i it starts with me of creating a positive energy you know i, I think it starts with positivity because there's you know a, um you know there's a lot of negativity and uh, a lot, a lot of negativity, and I think that feeds in sometimes. When and it, when I, I don't know that 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 should, but it it does. Unfortunately for these young guys, they're young they're young kids, so it does feed in. Um, and we got to make sure we're blocking all of that out uh, and focusing on the things. You know, I think in um, you know if you look at every game this year, I, I, there's a lot of pos there's a lot of positives I can pull out of today um, within the course of the game. Um, you know, and and then there's negatives. So the the you know you can sit there and grasp on to all the negatives and just pure negativity, or you focus on the positivity and you focus on the things that we did well, uh, the things that we can build off of to con constantly to continue and improve on, the attention to detail that I have got to make sure I get fixed, and the positive energy that as a team we continue to come together uh, for guys to look at and count on each other to make plays and expect guys to make plays and. Uh, 
um, you know, and play every snap with the effort we need to go play with. Um, and uh, that's kind of where the mindset has to be, um, you know, uh, in that way of that expectations and that believing that there's a lot of belief that comes into it of a belief, a belief of positivity over a belief of negativity. Well, I had a quick follow-up. Do you mm-hmm. think that's a leadership problem responding to the negative or? I think or? it's just everywhere. And I think it's on me to make sure that we kind of, kind of, you know, make sure it does it. We don't let it seep from the outside world to the inside world of, of us. You know, um, I think that's such a, a, a critical deal uh, as guys look at it, because, you know, a negative mindset, a negative mindset is, is something that creates that as soon as something goes wrong, everyone is like, oh, goodness, what terrible thing's going to happen to us next. Um, a positive mindset is as soon as something goes wrong, guys like, no, oh, that's no big issue. I'm going to be the guy to step up and go fix it. Um, a positive mindset is, hey, in the course of the game, we're just waiting for the thing to turn our way and great things are going to happen to us. A uh, negative mindset is somebody that's just kind of waiting for something to go wrong during the course of the game. Um, you know, a positive mindset is somebody that's going to sit there and, and, and look within and be excited for their moment and make sure that, that um, you know, they, they, they believe in their teammates, believe in themselves and expecting to pick each other up. And a negative mindset is kind of guys that are, are maybe pointing a finger one way or another. And we can't let negative negativity creep in, which I, and I, I, I don't I, I see our team excited uh, in, in even meeting with the guys about um, we'll see on Monday morning, but I'm I'm I'm. I'm pretty optimistic about the, the challenge that's going to be ahead of us for the rest of this season. Thanks, Dan. Uh, Alan Taylor, you're up next. Uh, hey, Dan, you referenced the uh, the mental side of things, and I guess that, that feeds into toughness. Do you have the horses? I mean, do you, do you have the guys physically up front on both lines uh, to, to get to where you want to be? Well, we'll yeah, we'll see. You know, we got I think that's always an area. If you want to be great, you got to be great at the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. I think that's a huge aspect to it. Uh, so you know, um, hopefully Ethan White comes back uh, this week. Um, you know, one of you down one of your starters up front on the offensive line, and uh, and a starter on the D line with Newkirk out for this game. You know, um, just kind of got 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 ruled out this morning. So. Um, you know, uh, part of that, but uh, great opportunities too. We got to see some young guys continue to step up. I do think I'm really excited about some of the the young guys up front on on the team and the program and where they're coming uh, as they get ready to take steps into the future. And did you see uh, some improvement, obviously, from from what happened with LSU? I mean, this game was competitive until the final two minutes of the of the first half today. Did you feel like in two weeks you guys got something accomplished? Or? Yeah, I, I don't know. It's just very, very different game. They're two totally different games, you know, um, that played out very different ways. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I don't. I think our guys competed against LSU, and I think our guys competed today. Thanks. Time for a couple final questions, uh, David Whitley. Dan, uh, not that the game turned on this particular play, but when. Torrance made the interception mm-hmm. right before the half and ran it out to the two. It sort of puts you all in a, in a bind there. Yeah. What was your take? Would he have been um, – his momentum taking him in? Would that have been a touchback? Yeah, it would have. But uh, you know what? In in that split second when you're – you know, in him and I talked – I told him that. I, I said, hey, you know, that's such a split second deal right there where you catch the ball, your momentum carried you into the end zone. You can take a knee and take a touchback. But he, he's sitting there and making that instantaneous decision of – how many steps did I take going into the end zone and didn't want a safety? So made a play to get it out. I think they spotted at the two, and then somehow they moved the ball inside the one after they spotted it afterwards, too. Um, I asked what happened there, but never got an, an explanation. They just said, no, we moved it inside the one for you after we spotted at the two. Um, so, I, but I, I guess that's a question for the league of how that works because um, they didn't have an explanation on that one. But, uh, uh, but certainly a heck of a play by him to make that play. And in that decision, I, you know, you, you're, you're sitting there making that call. And I think, in, and even talking to him, he knows right there, I don't want to ha- make this great play and end up with a safety and where I, where I was at. So I'm just trying to get, I'm just trying to make a play and try to put us in the best situation as possible uh, right there in that, that one little split second. And, uh, but offensively, same deal. That's a great play by the defense. 
great play by Rashad. And offensively, we got to build off of that. You know, we got to go then put together a drive to take advantage of the great play defensively. Um, and unfortunately, we come back with a turnover and uh, and turn the ball over. And that's that's the type of thing that 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 positive energy has to build off of each other within the team. All right, thank you. Um, we're going to wrap it up because we have some uh, players waiting with uh, Zach Alberti. Dan, just want to know what went into your decision to, to go with Anthony today and how you thought he, he played before he got hurt? Uh, yeah, I thought, you know, I mean, I, he obviously we were playing against LSU. I thought he had such a hot hand, played really well in the second half of that game. And I, both our guys, we split reps evenly pretty much in, in practice. Um, and... You know, I mean, so both guys were really ready to play, and I kind of just kept sticking with where he, where we were when we finished the last game. You know, and said, "Hey, we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go with with Anthony right here, and and Emery be ready." And uh, you know, I think again, I think um, Anthony did some really good things out there on the field. A uh, couple of mistakes here and there. Uh, you know, and, and unfortunately, you know, I mean, a couple of them were, were big, big mistakes for us. And, um, you know, and then Emery, though, I mean, it's just you want to see the character that he has. I mean, doesn't flinch, doesn't anything. Uh, you know, I mean, when we, we said, hey, we're going to go with Anthony right here, Emery's response is, hey, whatever it takes to help the team win, I'm all in. And um, and I'll be ready, Coach. You, you just point to me and I'll be ready to go. And um, he came in and I thought thought played really – I thought uh, Emery came in and played really well as uh, also. Obviously, Anthony's injury might determine this, but how do you see that playing out the rest of the way in terms of yeah. uh, those two guys? We'll, we'll see. I mean, that's not something I'm, I'm going to put the thought in um, as we continue to move forward. Thanks, Coach. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. Coach.